WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento, and we're talking about the markets today. And what I'd like to mention, we've had a lot of volatility. Now, I've posted the chart of the NASDAQ up in here. And believe me, folks, this bad uh, jobs report, not jobs report, but C CPI number that we got had nothing to do with the market, folks. It's all based on standard deviations and numbers that we look at that these algorithmic traders use. You're looking at, by the way, our guest today will be Tom Hugard. Hopefully, when Tom calls in, we'll be able to chat with him. He's had a pretty active day, I can imagine. But looking at this NASDAQ weekly chart, you'll see that today's low was an exact 61% retracement, okay, of the low that we made way back when, three and a half years ago. That's a very, very, very important number. Okay, I think we have Tom Hugard on the line now. Trader Tom, are you there? Hi, Larry. Tom, how are you handling this volatility today? Did you fall asleep at all? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I didn't fall asleep at all. I was. Uh, uh, I, I went over the uh, the history books, so I I looked back over the last 22 years for okay. days where we would have a an explosive inflation report, and then I looked at well how Europe would react to it, and then how um, how the U.S. would react to it. Mm -hmm. So I essentially wanted to know how can I expect Europe to trade this morning and how can I expect uh, the market to react. And then I got really lucky because the market rallied fiercely early on today mm -hmm. um, because of the Bank of England had some, some, uh, some rhetoric that supported the pound against the dollar. And, uh, and just like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds before the report inflation report came out, I said, this is, this is BS. This is going to be a repeat like of, of September, um, September's report. And so I took on a huge short position with a, the tiniest of stop loss. And I, I think 45 seconds later, I closed it with a $180,000 profit. And, oh, and, and, and I, was, I was really lucky too, because the market was a fast market. And so my platform jammed up, and and and, and I think the the, the 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 second half of that profit was probably never going to be mine had the platform not frozen up. Yes, I know. And my, even even the platforms that folks that I trade with said that they had the same problem. Tom, we're going to take a few a break here to pay a few bills. We're going to come back, and I'd like to uh, 